their friendship still exists even though the lady is the cruiserweight champion as we speak right now mike one thing you certainly cannot deny you may call this guy crazy wacko off the wall and while all those things are more than accurate you cannot deny his wrestling ability crowbar has surprised us from the outset from day one since his arrival in world championship wrestling with moves like the one we're about to see, the slingshot into the crossbody in the cover. No, he doesn't go for the cover. That's the thing about Crowbar that you just can't explain, that unpredictability. Well, that's, that's kind of the thing you could say about WCW in itself. You just don't know what's going to happen next. Crowbar, you ever heard the term, he is just crazy enough? He is just crazy enough to try these bizarre things and just crazy enough to be effective. Don't use that chair again to set in, please. Well, that's one way to use it. Across the back of average Mike Sanders, Crowbar now finds another chair, sets Sanders up, and now what does he have in mind? Well, he's just crazy enough to try something like this. Goes airborne and connects. Slingshot into a cross body block. And he seems to love that kind of pain. Check the look on his face. Looked like he hit his left elbow on the way down, but it, 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 you're right, it seemed to fire the man up. Certainly not going to stop him. And I don't know if Crowbar needs to have a fire lit under him or not. Series of right hands to the side of the head of Mike Sanders. How about that? Oh, psyched himself up by headbutting the ramp. But as he turned around, Sanders able to extend the leg and caught him with a sidekick. Whoa! Elevate Sanders up to the ramp. Who moves off back onto Crowbar. Hey, Sanders showing us something here. You know, I wonder... When uh, when David and Daphne finally tie the knot, so to speak, and Crowbar is going to be the best man. You think? Well, well, we know that it's now a situation where they are getting married. We've seen Daphne with the black wedding dress. We know that David Flair is her fiance. I think Crowbar would be a natural. Well, you, one thing you know that based on what has gone down with uh, with oh, oh good front kick that time, gone down with David's father Rick and his younger brother Reed. There's not going to be any Flair family members in that wedding, I wouldn't think. How about Mr. Russo? Think he might like a shot at the uh, best man duties? He'll probably be in the entourage somewhere. One would think Sanders has certainly turned this matchup into his favor. Off the ropes, Crowbar able to duck the clothesline. The goal behind, wow. the released German suplex. And again, you see Crowbar that time favoring his wrist, and I think you're right, Tony. I think on one of those high-risk moves... I think Crowbar may have hurt his wrist, not that it's going to stop him. A pair of knife edge chops to the chest and an overhand right to the top of the head. Sanders slides through, going to pump handle up and over. Sanders has shown us a, a, a variety of pretty good moves, but beyond that, he has shown us that he's able to take a, a beating, a hit or two, and come right back. And that's twofold if you want to be successful in sports entertainment. Dish it out and be able to take a beating as well. It's all those months of training at the WCW power plant. That time, 
Crowbar, almost in a desperation move, leaps forward, and he knocks Sanders off the top rope, and Mike Sanders comes crashing down. Now let's see if Crowbar can take advantage of the opening. Oh, that one echoed all throughout the worldwide arena. Crowbar to the top. Sanders in place. And Frankensteiner's him back into the ring. He snapped it off perfectly. Fans are behind Crowbar here. Mike, can you imagine that on the 11th of June, we're actually going to see someone set on fire when Sting faces Vampire in a human torch match? Is that one of the most bizarre things we've ever seen or what? Absolutely. It gets just crazier by the day here in WCW. Oh. And that series of three suplexes, appropriately enough, Crowbar calls the crazy train. Yes, it is going to be Sting versus Vampiro in the Human Torch match as we count down the days of the Great American Bash. And we all know that the Millionaires Club, they feel like they're going to be able to take both Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan out of WCW by the time of the Great American Bash. Slingshot into a leg drop. And just when it appeared as if Crowbar would be able to put Sanders away, Sanders went to the high rate to turn things around in the back of the neck and Sanders showing us a lot and let's see what intestinal fortitude Crowbar has here. Crowbar able to float over the boot to the midsection doubled over Sanders. One would think this is going to be an attempt at a suplex but where is he going to go with it? Takes him up, drops him straight down with the front suplex. Hook of the leg. Got two and got it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, There's no denying that, Tony. Just so much you can say about Grobar and his mental state, but a lot of you can say about his wrestling ability. There's your winner, Slick Johnson, the referee as well. And now Slick Johnson is part of the post-match celebration. Not too willingly. And a kiss on the top of the head from Crowbar. What an exit. This deserves another look. Second chair was the charm of Robar, but he hit his arm on the way down and hurt him. But that was the beginning of the end of the Oak Mache goes for Mike Average Sanders. The front suplex, reverse suplex, if you will. A bizarre man, but a very, very impressive win. That's Robar. He may be bizarre, but he's also very effective. As Crowbar scores the win in singles competition on Worldwide, let's send it back to the studio. Guys, take it.